Hello and welcome to Face to Face on City TV. My name is Omaru Sanda Amado. Now, you've heard on Face to Face or you've watched us have a conversation with Alfred Agbeshi Woyeme. We've talked about his childhood, his history, his businesses and how he got embroiled in this 51 million judgment debt saga. But the question is, the court has ordered that he pays back. His properties would be sold. Is he going to continue to fight or he'll watch these properties go? Does he have the capacity, financial capacity to pay back? And what will be the consequence? Indeed, Alfred Dami has said that if he fails, or there's actually a collusion that has been alleged, if that succeeds in court, he'll go to jail for 10 years. When you come back, I'm going to introduce you again to Alfred Agbeshivoyome for this conversation. Mr. Alfred Agbeshi Uyeme, the issue has to do with you paying back 51 million. First question, do you regret ever collecting that money considering that for more than a decade now you've been in and out of court over a single amount of money that was paid to you? Do you regret signing that deal? Is it a deal? I was paid as a result of a court order. Government officials obeyed a court order and paid. Government tried to do their defense and everything and failed in every way. Up to the Supreme Court, they put me into part of Article 1815, which I'm not supposed to, it's not supposed to be applied to me. But applies to the contract? Applied to a foreigner contract. Because I still say that if you want, go and read the Court of Appeals criminal judgment where evidence were taken. The 2005 issue is different from the 2006 issue. The 2006 issue is about vomit, and they took government to court, and government paid them 25 million euros. And which government should collect? They stop, and they are not collecting it. Then you come and link a different case. Through Martin Amidu, where the Supreme Court threw it out. Then you find a good opportunity when Datiba had gone on a retirement. After, two weeks after the, that judgment. Then you go on to a review where you think that I don't have any leg again. Uh, did I hear you say that uh, my, uh, Godfrey Odami... Six, ten years or something like that. Yes, Godfrey, and we'll come to that one. That has to do with allegations that you were involved in fraud with UT. We'll come to that. But Martin Amidou's case was heard in July. This the judgment guy. was delivered in July 2014. You have actually admitted subsequently that you're going to make that payment. So why are you today poo-pooing that judgment which you have agreed to pay? We are even told that you've already paid $4 million. Excuse me. If... I said I was going to refund and still continue to fight. I'm doing it for Ghanaian businessmen. I'm doing it for Ghanaians. The constitution of this country never have said that such an article and that such barbarism and dishonesty from Martin Amidu with, I say in court, a Supreme Court that can reverse their decision based on a judgment which was written by uh, 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 Justice Doche, who made a politically or whatever comment in the ordinary budget where he should have recused himself. And he became the lead judge to write such a judgment for the whole court to air. These are celebrated justices of the Supreme Court. The Attorney General Why? Martin they, Amidu is a celebrated lawyer in this country. Celebrated by you. What I know about Martin. Celebrated by He's you. He's been Deputy Attorney General and for so, 12 years. He's been and Minister so, for Interior. He's not no, another been, Deputy Attorney General who is, uh, who is, who is, who is coughing rubbish. He's been Attorney General. I, I, I mean, Odami. He's coughing rubbish. Look, I'm not going to put it in court. He's coughing rubbish. Under which law? These are smart legal brains that smart, sat in 2014 smart in to what make it? the decision that they made. Let me tell you, I'm not talking about the Supreme Court. I said the Supreme Court erred in that decision. If they did not err, I wouldn't continue doing that. And my point is that if you thought they erred... Not that I thought. The decision of the Court of Appeal, where they took evidence and everything, 
stand in contrast with what they have come up with. And what they came up with, they themselves predicted that the outcome in the lower court where evidence were being taken, documentary evidence were being taken, will be different from their own. And for, to, to forestall that, they used their supervisory authority to terminate all the other things so that they will use this very judgment as binding on me. So wait a minute. You, now listen You said to that me. you not study law. You can't possibly know law more than these people. I have studied some law, but the point is that I know my right as a citizen. You'll be a fool if you don't know your right and the right which I'll be giving to you in this constitution. Why not? Are they more citizens than me? They've been privileged to sit there and exercise the power of God by interpretation. And are they not human? They've erred. I don't know which, which, which circumstances. We went to the African court. The minority opinion is the judgment I think should have been. But the majority opinion also agreed that something wrong went on. But said that I was not able to prove that Justice Duce uh, influenced the rest of the judges in concave. And I'm not a spirit. Yes, you cannot. To be in the concave to know that one. Mm -hmm. But by international standard of judgments, when it is alleged and only one suspicion is done, that whole judgment is tainted and must be thrown out. So the African court, I have not gone on that leg. We have gone back to the African court. They have stated and have accepted the, the judgment. They've asked government to send, uh, to nominate their lawyers. They have to respond to the voting one month, about three months now. They've not done anything. You had returned, you had gone to the... Yes, the case is now again before the African court. Yeah, but before then you were at the Continental Court. No, where you the ICC. Yes, where you made the case that your rights were being infringed upon. No, the I court didn't. Threw this out. I didn't go there and say rights. The court. Held. I wanted them to go into the matter to determine whether I am linked or not. If I am linked, then we will put in the whole thing. They but say the, I'm not linked. Yeah, but the judgment said you did not find it. It's not judgment. The decision. It's a decline to go into the matter because I am not linked. Yeah, but you said your your human rights were not abused in any way as you were claiming. Who says so? You had said that you. Were who, who, who says so? The judgment, which I can quote for you, if you if you if you want to go online, we can go you, online. There was nothing like that. I could get that for you. I said that uh, not the uh, human rights court. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking, I'm about, talking the about the human rights court. I'm talking about the ICC. Okay. So we are talking about two different yes. things here. The human rights court did not say that. No, I have the judgment here. Okay, you can fetch that. So the I most important thing that this has done to Ghana is for the court, what they have found out. Uh, Godfrey Dami was all about saying that Ghana was not uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, subject to that court and that that court cannot, uh, that court cannot decide for Ghana what to do and all those ones that they said. So they were talking about, they went on admissibility. Mm -hmm. I won against them in admissibility. They went on the jurisdiction. And I won for not only me, for Ghanaians and for individuals who have their right to go to the African court after exhausting the Supreme Court, I, I have done. And In the aspect of uh, uh, reparation and merits, I won in many, many, many of the voting. All they said is that, so far as the, I was not able to prove that uh, he influenced that judgment. Mm -hmm. You see, the African court is not an appellate court over the Supreme Court. The African court is a court that has territorial jurisdiction over Ghana, which have been determined by this judgment. Mr. Wayman, and I... then, mm -hmm. which have been determined by this judgment. Mm -hmm. And therefore, whatever, you, where your human rights have been abused, mm -hmm. or where discrimination have been proven, mm -hmm. that is where they will grant you what they say. Okay. But right now, we have discovered and given them a proof, real proof from parliament about a Shanghai contract that Al Matlami Al Alam Shamidu, who took, who um, when the Kufu administration took the thing from us and gave it to the Shanghai company, Shanghai company was not sent to, did not go to parliament. In, rather, they borrow money from Barclays Bank and send them uh, the money uh, approval to parliament, which they approved, but the contract didn't go. Okay. And they paid the Shanghai company 
took away our own, who didn't go to also a parliament. So Martin Amidu had all those documentation. He didn't send Shanghai to parliament for them to also bring their money. Uh, you understand me? But rather went and linked me to a wrong contract. I'm a Ghanaian. I did my services. And I sued for my services for 2005. And you went to wrongly link me. I'm not a director of that company. When you read, read the contract, it's absurd. I'm not a director. My name is not mentioned. Nothing about that. Okay. I am not anything. Why do you link me? Just to, Now, just the Supreme Court yes. linked me through that. If I want to go to the legal merit or the way they used and linked me, I said they had. So yeah. I'm not going to go on that one. So this judgment, as it is, I agreed to some point just for that mm -hmm. I want to pay. Okay. But I want to pay this money in tranches. tranches. I have stopped working. I'll come back and ask you about these tranches and how you intend to do it. No, 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 no. Not for, how I intend to do it. No. That matter, we've gone about that. Just for purposes, okay, just for purposes of um, emphasis for uh, The Human Rights Court case I referred to mm -hmm. is published on the graphic online portal of 2019. Yes, the main court. William judgment. Lucy's case at African Human Rights. That is Rights. graphic opinion. Yes, and I'm, no, it's not an opinion. It's, it's scaled from it. says the African court has unanimously dismissed a case filed by you and that the court said... That is also wrong. Okay, it says it court, never unanimously dismissed. It said the court said women's right to non discrimination graphic have been right, involved in this kind right of uh, equality before the law, equal protection before the law, and his right to be heard by an impartial tribunal had all not been violated. Now that's what I'm saying that for some people, it was not unanimous, mm. it was not that the whole thing is that there's okay, the but judgment. It was not a victory. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Let me explain something mm -hmm. with the media have been used about it. Like daily graphic. Mm -hmm. When you ask anybody in the village, you say, oh, I saw it in graphic. Why wouldn't they maintain that they are listening? My question is, for ordinary people watching you, they would say, this Alfred William man, he has lost a case locally. He has gone international, he has lost it. Why is he still fighting? Okay, still fighting? good. When the unanimous decision was arrived at the Supreme Court, Matanamidu lost it against me, isn't it? But he won it against Waterville and the rest. Have they collected a dime from them? No. Have they chased them? No. Have they, did they take Shanghai to court? No. I, a Ghanaian, who have got documented proof and everything, a court judgment and everything that, I have rendered a service and it must be paid and have been paid by court order. You link me to that and you are chasing me to pay. Why is Mr. Amidu... I am asking you this question. Mr. Amidu is not working alone. If you were working on you alone, have a personal issue. Let me explain to you. Masamidu didn't coin the Woyomo Woyo meeting and make a campaign promise. When I come back, I will do this. Did Martin Amidu do that? I told you Martin Amidu was working and through some other means, which I don't want to talk on public here now, was recruited by Ace and Kuma, who had personal interest in all the other issues and everything. Is Why Ankuma, is this? Is Ankuma contracted Amidu to go to court? They were in London to... together. We have the photograph. We have everything. We have everything which that they were doing. Which year was this? Please. And what was the purpose? The purpose was to work for the MPP to come to power. And he has done that. And after that, when he did it, he made a lot of comments. This what, particular issue. What did Ace Ankuma have against you? I think it's fair. See, because I mentioned people, it's only fair. Ace, Ace Ankuma, that was his role. And Ace Ankuma have been persistent on this case. Ace Akuma is in the legal team that is working even now that women must pay, must pay, must pay on a wrong thing which they have told the Ghanaian people, Woyome, Alfred Woyome, has agreed that the laws of this country must be respected. Think, Whether no, the laws of this country must be respected and any judgment that comes from the Supreme Court, finally, finally, which has not been overturned, is law. Okay. And Alfred Woyome is ready to obey the law and go under the law, but we will exploit Every means to make sure that the Supreme Court depart from this decision. Very well. Then just, just, I have, have as well, we may mm -hmm. demonstrated that. Yes. Just a few issues. I on did that. Person. I'll come to you. I, no, I, I, no, I, I just want to have an idea. I want to know what you're. Yeah, you're doing. So that let but, me conclude but because this. Because we mentioned two human beings in here who are not readily available. We are not readily available. Martin you, Amido you, is you a go into the internet mm -hmm. and then Google is some concerning what you make cases. Then you can see. 
is that whether they whether they are not here or not. You have been on uh, your network. You have been on uh, Joy FM. You have done this. You have done that. You have campaigned on it. They've done so many issues, many derogatory comments and things like that. I've taken him to court on this matter. Did, did he? I have taken. Did he? And then on this Africa case to court to his matter is inside. When you his say, recordings and everything mm. are there. When you say, so the issue is that when I mention him, mm. he's part of the court record. No problem. When you say he's he part used, of the court record. When you say he used Martin Amido. Was Not that he used. He cannot use Martin Amido. Okay. That's wrong. I said he was one or the lead person that was involved in recruiting Martin Amido to the course of the MPP. So he recruited Martin Amido. He was part of Did all in front. Did he pay front. him? I don't know. Recruitment doesn't... But Martin Amido has been rewarded. How? He's, the, he's under the, the SP now. He's a special prosecutor. Yeah, he has been rewarded. And, and, and he was appointed based on... I said he has rewarded. I am saying categorically that he has rewarded. And I have made that pleading in the African court also. He's a foundation member of the NDC, Martin Amido. You are and a so, member of the NDC. Why so, would he go against you? I mean, that's a human behavior. I've told you that there are certain principles that I follow. The passion of the people. It doesn't mean the political party or this and that. You understand me? So if this does not go with their hypocrisy and every other thing, naturally they'll be against me. The issue here is that who is Alfred Wuyume? What is he looking for? Why would he have abandoned this case or go and stay wherever he wants to do exactly. and things like that? Why? But you know one thing. If I live here with the collateral issues and here and there, how it has been misreported and all that, we must come to the conclusions of it. The conclusion is not for me to die. I will live to see all my enemies, you understand me? See me on the table. This is face to face on City TV. My guest, Alfred Agbeshi Woyeme, Umaru Sandamaru is my name. We'll be back and I'll ask him after all this, no, will please. he pay? How will he pay? This is Fact Finder from the BBC. We live in a world where news travels fast, and sometimes it's hard to differentiate fact from fiction. Fact Finder brings fact checking from the newsroom up close so you can separate truth from chaff. Be empowered to tell what's fake from what's real. Watch Fact Finder by the BBC on City TV every Wednesday at 6 pm. City TV, it's your world. For the highlights of the top stories from the newspapers and the in-depth discussions of the news, What the Papers Are Saying, your weekly newsstand show, which sums up the big stories from reliable newspapers and news websites. It is the appropriateness of the act and the timeliness of the act which people find as not priority. Mm -hmm. That people think that there are more pressing issues that will need the attention of leadership and because of that renaming of institutions is the last thing people want to wake up to join vivian kai local and her panel to review the headlines break down the stories and analyze the issues what the papers are saying is this and every thursday at 9 p.m on city tv You welcome back. Mr. Alfred Agbeshi Woyeme, will you pay the 51 million cities? Will you pay back? Let me, before I answer that question, I want to comment on what Odami has said to the public. I can read it for you, but I thought we could get When was that? Was it recent? Yeah, that's recent. We'll talk about that. The, 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 so when we went to the Supreme Court again? Yes. Yeah, so again now? Yes, I will tell you about that. I'll, I'll tell much. you what exactly he said, and you can respond. But will you pay back the 51 million cities? If I'm not willing to pay back, I wouldn't even have attempted in the first place to have an arrangement with the previous administration and started paying. Okay. When this president administration came, the African court had issued a provisional measure mm -hmm. which 
automatically put a halt to everything. And I stated publicly that at the end of it, if government represented by the Attorney General wins, I'll resume the payment. When it was announced that they won, I was looking for a review because Martin also went on review anyway. I have also a right of review there, which I've started already. And went to them. It's on record. Personally, emissaries to say that let's talk about how I want to pay. I followed with letters. Three times, the Attorney General threw uh, uh, they wrote to me that they were not going to sit with me to discuss anything towards this payment for obvious reason. And this is in the net. You have all seen it. I have shown willingness to pay. I proposed in it that I want to pay this quarterly, quarterly, quarterly. Then I said, okay, let me go to the Supreme Court. And I filed the payment plan before the Supreme Court that this is how I want to pay it. Because I've not worked, none, government has closed all my businesses illegally against a court order. Bank of Ghana had blacklisted me, causing all my, a huge contract I had to supply items for Togo government for the building of their port and everything, which started in earnest. Government wrote to them that I've been blacklisted by the government of Ghana and also that thing was taken away. My consultancy work, because of the criminal case and all the pursuant things, I couldn't do for any other country. I have been spending money to establish the right, not only for me, but for businessmen and for Ghanaians, because it's wrong what has happened. So I can only pay when we agree on a statement, a, a, a payment plan. The money was not thrived through criminal process. The money was not paid by officials or so. It was ordered by the court. The money to be refunded was a final judgment to refund. Then if you are not refunding and they, they saw some of your property here and there, they can go by law to an execution plan mm -hmm. process. And that's what they've been doing. Now, I told, went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, Godfrey Odami and the AG went to the Supreme Court and said, we are not agreeing on him paying by any installment. The Supreme Court hand was tight. And they themselves went and said that, said that if I want to pay, it would take about four years, which was not so. They did a wrong calculation. It would take four years. So the Supreme Court also declined that, no, they should go ahead with selling and other things. Okay. Now, technically, I have never resisted them. I have ensured that what they should do, they should do according to law. And in it, we now saw that there was inside trading. People among them want the properties for themselves. Really? That is the court, the case I have taken to the Human Rights Court under Article 33. Does it matter who they and get into your job? After that, when they saw that we were there, then the auctioneer has to write a funny letter to uh, Kandapa. And Kandapa, who has also personal interest in this matter. You remember, he was a public account committee chairman when he issued that statement that I should be arrested here and then because it was wrong, wrongful. I didn't obey and things like that, but we appeared before the committee in a proper manner. Kandapan now using executive power, writing to the Attorney General that go to court and then freeze or change the judgment that has gone into uh, what you call it, review, which is finality. Nobody can touch it. Neither the Supreme Court. You understand me? Change it to favor us to seize these properties. The laws in Ghana says you can only, only take over properties of people when 
it is a proceed of crime in relation to money laundering and drugs. Did the Supreme Court find Afro Woyome guilty of drug dealing or anything? No. I have never been found guilty. It was a constitutional interpretation. But the Supreme Court said that the property doesn't belong to you anymore. It belongs to the state. And if the no, Minister for the National Supreme Security, Court had not stated they, that. They, they argue, the Minister for National Security argued that there were people who were threatened, people who expressed interest in buying your property. So for this reason, they threatened. have to take over. I have the, law, the, the letter. Don't twist it. I'm quoting to you what was said. In no, the letter is I have it. I send it to court. The no. letter is saying that the uh, 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 the auctioneer wrote to him that people are not interested to buy yeah, people say they are not the, that change, the, change the, of the, government to uh -huh, that's the all the, uh, and, and you the, mentioned all that and the auctioneer was saying that to fulfill nana ado's campaign promise that so, was in the auctioneer's letter uh, oh yes nana ado's com com campaign promise the last man wrote it so that they should do what they wanted to do the supreme court is ne not there at the uh, beckon of the government Call and beckon of the government. No, the Supreme Court is a separate institution. I respect them and I will defend the judiciary to the very ill. My fa family is also a family of judiciary. We will defend it to the very ill. The Supreme Court will look into this matter if they want their reputation because this case is being watched by the State Department clearly, I can tell you, of the United States. Two weeks ago, we had a very detailed conversation again. It's being watched everywhere. So everybody in terms of this case better do the right thing. Number one, this thing is the campaign promise because what should it be campaign promise? There was nothing like Cretan Luton share. There was a Ghanaian who had been cheated. And now, do you know why? The government again went and froze all the shares of my 14 companies since 2016. And tie my, my hand behind me not to be able to operate even to get a dime to pay. The government, they don't want me to pay. What they want to do is to render Mr. William useless for challenging the status quo. Is it not the case that perhaps in the past you have not been too collaborative? Let me read a quote Collaborative for you. in what? Godfrey Dame in December 2019, referring to your own namesake at Justice Alfred Benin's ruling, mm -hmm. said that, quote, the final Supreme Court ruling was that William had colluded with the UT Bank to practice fraud on the court. I have followed up on the matter and presented a memo to my boss, the Attorney General, who has subsequently taken a move by writing to the CID to ensure the prosecution of Mr. Woyeme for the offense of fabrication of evidence, fabrication fraud, and that you may go to jail for 10 years, and that you claim... Uh, excuse me, Godfrey is a small boy. He's a Deputy Attorney General. I said he's a small boy, boy, and he better shut up. Because, a... listen to me, you should hear me from here, and I'm telling to the President, Nana, that if he's appointing people, he should make sure that he does not appoint people who will be touching on the sensibility of people. I don't want to be moving into that direction. Job, isn't he? No. He's, he's... I was in the Supreme Court. Yes. The Supreme Court is doing this. If I, Supreme Court, I have done something, Supreme Court were before him. He could have ordered ABCD that we have done ABCD with them. Execution, I was not part of it. The defunct, uh, uh, what do you call it? UT. UT. You go and bring the receivers of the defunct UT. You, government, you appointed the re receivers. And you cause the receivers not to defend a collateralized document. But they said evidence has not shown. Which that evidence? The, the, Excuse the me. You have not been, you have to learn. Go back to the court records. They, they have said that. I they, said they, that, they, go back they, to the court record. I challenged Justice Benning mm -hmm. and told him that, look, what you are doing. Is not the right thing, and that you are denying me of my right of appeal because execution normally should start from the it's an originating suit mm -hmm. and must start from the high court so that I can have my appellate rights. Justice Bennett went and said, No, I am alone, I will do it. We have power to do our own uh, what do you call it, decision to implement it. So we kept quiet. Then I said, no, I won't leave this to become part and parcel of a law against Ghanaians. So I went for a three-panel judge. The three-panel judge dodged the question and said that there must be an end to a litigation, but insisted that the Supreme Court has powers and everything to, to implement their own decision. So I left it there. If you bring a, 
a, a branch of government against you. And because you want to have properties that you can say we are chasing to, so that we collect the money to show. That is where the letter of the auctioneer is suspect. Electoral rule. Justice Bennett decision that he did and came forward and said they should take UT property. UT, where are the directors? Odami went and brought the poli uh, police invited me. I went there and then my brother had to bail me and my wife had to bail me. And I presented my everything to the police. Now, records of the Supreme Court where you, Odami participated, you are using that one to the police to investigate. Is the police over the Supreme Court? The Supreme Court, if they have somebody has colluded and anything like that, will make a pronouncement on that. These are for babies. Have you listened? Uh, listen carefully. Mm -hmm. These are for babies and ninos. He must stop this and stop deceiving people. When we say uh, the, the UP tradition, my forebears are cool. He, he, he doesn't know even where he is stepping. He's just a lawyer. I am saying that his work. The, he is playing a political what work your right what i'm going engaging is to defend your right because anything there will become a precedent against every ghanaian and no ghanaian must pass through what I'm, I'm i've gone through the fact that the things is before the supreme court let the supreme court call me and prove that they have taken evidence you are doing execution and so you look, you think I'm not registered some of the, the, the properties properly here and there, here and there, and for that reason... There's ABCD, no record to uh, show that it belongs to them. That's, that's what no, but we have signed the other thing. If you could, the legal department didn't follow and do the right thing, did you pay money? You see, did pay money. Has Bank of Ghana written to apologize? I have it here. Has Parliament, the Speaker of Parliament, written to me to apologize? I have it here. Has uh, uh, the Auditor General written a letter to me and then also saying that he has written to uh, editors that they made a mistake in my issue? I have it here. Do you know how much money this government, by their own admission and signing, owe to pay my company? Look, let me tell you. I'm interested in this. This is what I will never leave. This here is to help in a PPP arrangement with Ghana mm -hmm. to actually open up this country and give job to over one to five million people, young people what is of this? this country. This is something that will create a situation whereby we will be enjoying our CD economy, not based totally on dollar. Okay. And this means that Money have been raised. Okay. They are all everywhere. And it's a PPP issue. So I won't go back further about this. Okay. Let, what I'm saying here is that I myself, I went to the Flagstaff House. I met with an assistant to the chief, uh, chief of staff. Current chief of staff? Yes. Mm -hmm. And in our discussion even, I told them how me and the, the Ado family, my family and India, very close and cordial. I said, not on the, that basis that I have come. I've come and said that this attorney general must sit with me, release my shares of my company so that I can pay this money, although I'm not stopping from challenging, from still going after. How much and then they refused also to meet with me. Now I see a letter from Kandapa. Now, because of insider trading, which is against my human right under Article 33, which is protected from the Supreme Court, Supreme Court cannot, when they saw that I've gone there, then they wrote, they have gone to the Supreme Court trying to force them to change the decision. No, who you are, can't do that. Who are the insiders trying to benefit from your, from your properties? Do you Follow know? the court proceedings. And then, you know what? The Supreme Court made sure that a lot of lawyers say they will not defend me. So even in the human record, I am defending How myself. How do you mean the Supreme Court made sure? Yes. They have even fined my lawyer to pay within a, a week 5000 for representing me. They have been, just for representing yes, you. Yes, yes. That, that was what the Supreme that Court they, said. He ought to know that the uh, agreement, the, the thing he's bringing, is frivolous. Yeah, but if if a judge is punished, uh, excuse court, me. He's not the first personally, he's not the first you time. should give me a cost, not personally on the lawyer. 
No, they normally address them by the address, what they have not brought here. No, this is, excuse me. It will this, be the first time a Supreme Court or a court is Should it continue? Judge, it is not correct. No, but it, it, it is not a practice. Is if, if, if the judge It is not in the, the lawyer, party's direction. If the lawyer has misled you and gone on a frivolous Not misled. Course, if, if, lawyers if do the, not mislead Afro Yume. Afro Yume instructs the lawyers to represent him on what Afro Yume believes that you go to court. Okay. Don't think that any lawyer mm -hmm. who have ever represented me has gone to the court based by his suggestions to me. But if the, I instruct my lawyers very well. to act on my behalf. Good. But if the judge holds the view, the the advice or the whatever you told it was him not frivolous. was frivolous it was, and he decided to cause against him because he thought he's a person. And that they'll take his license. And yeah. that they'll do this. Yeah, it's, it's, almost, a, it's a threat. It's you can't a, do that. This is a correctional measure no. deployed and by the sure. judiciary. Are you speaking for them? No, I do not speak for them, so but then, I know that per precedence, no, 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 lawyers, precedent. have been, lawyers have been whipped into line. For, no, for, that for, is for, on for, a different reason. For technical, not, not when... It's not technical. There's nothing technical here. There's nothing that will will, 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 will mean his license. There is nothing that will mean uh, anything. You cannot. So I am representing myself in the... Uh, in the uh, what do you call it, uh, human right court, and I've been representing myself since but effectively. Now, in the Supreme Court, I attempted to represent myself, and then uh, some people went to talk to my former lawyer, uh, and everybody felt bad. So it's okay, no, look, I, I, I will, but he's sick, so he wrote a letter to them, and that, and that's why they pushed the whole case up that I should not be. Okay. Look, I am telling you, I'm a son of the judiciary, okay. And I have a right to speak exactly what I'm speaking. Okay. And I am telling you, let no one touch any judge. Recently, what they did with a nurse thing that they did with these judges and everything like that, it hurt me. I am not agreeing with the executive with what they did to the judges. Okay. I'm not agreeing with how the much have you? How much have you paid back to the Republic of Ghana since you started? I can't paying? remember, but the, the Republic of Ghana doesn't want money from Afro Okay. I, I, the Republic was... of Ghana through, mm. uh, through who, those who are using state powers, mm. the political parties, okay. they want to use Afro Woyome as the one representing all their corruption, stealing, thieving, okay. and every other thing that Afro Woyome knows about. I'll put the question. They again. are thieves. Okay, they it. continue to do, let me tell you one thing, mm -hmm. what they have created in that cabinet memo is a criminal offense. And that criminal offense doesn't end. I'll they know the what they are defending. I'll let me tell you, I also know it. So if Goffrey Dami thinks that I have done something wrong with UT Bank, if he has the evidence, nobody is preventing him. I'll put the question. But let me tell you one mm -hmm. thing. Why is it that when he finds himself in a corner and he wants to do something, then he has to come out with something? Who told him? He, was he appointed there because of Woyome? And he should speak about what you mean. I told him in Arusha, and I told him, look, Godfrey, my family and your families have been very close. But the way you continue doing your thing, be very careful. Because many in your own family are not happy about how you go about your things. The so I don't say that don't represent the state or don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Do what you can do. There is a publication that says you've paid 4 million CDs back to the state. I so cannot far. tell you for, her, for my head. It's around 5 million. But I cannot tell you for my head how much because some they took from my account. Some they do. Right now, as I sit here, I don't operate any account. You but you know the churches and sometimes the mosque. They feed me and they are overfeeding me. Can't you see how beautiful I am? How? How? How is that? They, they contribute money and bring to you. I'm telling you, pastors and everything like that. So, so I have been with the church for a long time. So you have nothing to your name in any account? I have a lot of things to my company. And they themselves have gone and frozen those shares. And when valued, they are in the billions. Ask them. But those are frozen. So currently... What? We... Frozen? Yeah. By what? They went there and attach uh, those ones in the Supreme Court. Yeah. When you tell them, release this, let's have a payment plan so that you can have this thing, so that leave the Ghanaian matter, let's go to the legal issues. Yeah. But you must find this, you must find that. I'm fight. They have made me to represent somebody who is, please, I want the Ghanaians to understand that, that I am standing for businessmen, I'm standing for the Ghanaians, everything they have told them is a lie. I am not a King Kong that a government for over 15 years cannot take, cannot beat me. And then in 10 years, cannot take money from me. Am I a King Kong? You see me, simple man. Simple man. Good. I am not a King Kong. The foundation of their case is on lie. It is true in life that truth and lie 
can start a race. Lie can pick the race. But at the end, truth will win. Truth will complete. Let me race. ask you one question. So the will... issue here is that they've mm -hmm. done it to many people who have returned from outside. Okay. Tried to help this country. Mm -hmm. Some have died out of heart attack. But I can I've investigated personally, which are part of the books I'm going to write. About some people's story that have gone and unreported. They are surprised I'm still on my feet. Okay. I am not against the political players. I am not against the intelligence people. I am not against the journalist or any other person who might have done something wrong. The point is that let's now get our brains back to normal Africans who love themselves. Question. The ethic is this. No family in Ghana is bigger than another family, okay. irrespective of money no or problem. anything. No tribe in Ghana is more important than another tribe. We have one country, we are one people, one destiny, and let us give a quick whole opportunity to anybody who also wants to be okay. as far as me. So I am not a thief, I cannot steal, I never went to shoot government. I, where are the government officials who have used government money to pay me? Where are they? You... Why wouldn't they go into the criminal uh, court with me if it were so? Please, Ghanaians. Try to reason things up. I am rather on this fight to set a precedent and to, to give meaning to this, our constitution, okay. the preamble of it. Okay. We are a people and I will stand in front of businessmen for Ghanaians to exercise their inalienable right and their right over this. But again, we must respect all institutions and also fight against people who use the institution Weaken them Against to you. set their own quick, personal deeds. Quick question, this is the fact I am Mr. Owen, you have said to me that uh, your accounts have been frozen by the government, the government has gone after your company as well, that the church and the mosque are helping you. As we speak, are you a man of straw? Are you poor? Let me explain something to you. Are you poor, sir? The accounts that were all frozen, mm. the Court of Appeal has declared that as illegal. No problem. But the Bank of Ghana refused to do the right thing, caused a whole lot of things, and they themselves have admitted it. Yoko said, I am not. It's the Bank of Ghana. We have those letters. Okay. We have all those words. Do you know why? Sometimes it's not good to be talking plenty in front of Ghanaian people. We have only one country. No problem. Don't create the tension. Don't increase it. I have been law-abiding and chasing the thing in this court. And yesterday, these politicians, when people start to try to forget, not understanding the issue, they try even to forget. Okay. Through my sacrifice, there are then they want to bring it up in another district. There are properties. What does Odami and his cliques want from me? That's, there are properties that have been listed in your name, and these properties government plans to take over based on the judgment. Um, the list two mansions at Trasaco Estate, a house at Pehe, I believe that's where we are talking from yes. now, uh, which is where you reside, an office complex of Anato Holdings, a residential building at Abilinkpe, and a stone quarry. In the eastern region. Abelengpe has never li been listed by anybody. Okay, I'm just court. reading. The, from that there. is court reportage. Okay. That is the. Ma you see. So the, these the, properties, have you handed all of them over to the state? Have the state taken over? What's happening with you that? You need to go and study the law concerning execution. There are procedures that you pass through. And when you pass through those procedures, then you can do the auction. But you're not challenging. Physical I challenge. I have challenged you to the very end. But right now, again, we are in the court, in African court. And the process is ongoing. We will see whether this process will be halted again okay. or not. But, but the point here is that we are also in the Human Rights Court under Article 33. Okay. So we will see what happened there, the inside trading. I don't want to accuse anybody, particular person, that he was part of the inside trading. It's a court document, and I don't want to comment on those ones. This is face to face on City TV. My guest is Alfred Agbeshi Women. When we come back, the last question I ask him how is he going to survive with all these things? Um, all properties have been listed. He said that it depends on the church and the mosque. And people, he, a lot of people. And people. Can he continue to survive as a businessman? Don't go away. Travel the country in just 30 minutes on the U Tour bus. I'm just coming from the home or from the palace of the new Yana. This is our story being told. Journeys to explore. From the plains to the greens to the scenery to everything. Ah. There's so much 
we need to do, you know, to boost tourism around this area. Ooh, that guy was just getting up. Learn and indulge in the culture and lifestyle of the people. Utah shows on City TV every Saturday at 1 p.m. There are those with untold stories, unraveled feats, life-changing stories, and lasting legacies. They tell their stories themselves right here on Footprints. So we go to someone who were put in our various cells, and then, you know, someone you have a huge, it's a huge prison. And then it was then that it dawned on me that I was really in big trouble. Do you think that um, the overthrow of Liman was justified? I think that uh, with hindsight, there was no justification. Be inspired by their hard work and resilience that led to those outstanding achievements as we trace their footsteps through the capsule of time. Because of my upbringing, my mother, my father, they are, you know, Christianity. Yeah. So because of that, you know, strong I hands strong, at home. Even though I'm the guy smoking, doing all kinds of, I've, I've never tried. You've you know, never tried? No, no, never tried weed or anything. You've never, never tried weed? Even drinking, you know, alcohol, no. Why should you people put everything, come and go on, go on, go on. Everything was done before Kuma arrived in the country. No, I hold the lever here. I hold the lever here. The ye 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 So join me, Samuel Atamensa, and my guests every Saturday at 9 a.m. and Sundays at 4 p.m. Only on City TV. Footprint is sponsored by Bethel Logistics Company Limited, experts in shipping logistics. You welcome back to Face to Face. Woyome, 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 woyome. This was a campaign song in 2012. I mean, it was part of the songs that were sung on campaign platforms. How did that hurt your family and yourself? It was bad. To the extent that my son was sick, had a prescription to go to, to buy medication in one of the pharmacies in East Ligon. They told him, because they saw the name, they said, we don't serve medication to the Williams. Wow. It was so bad that a lot of the children in schools, many people have to stop their school. Some have to take their children outside. Your and family, your family, you have a big family. Except it's a big, big family. People using Williams are more than 15,000. If they had used Alfred Agbisi, it would have even been better. There was going to be a class action. I have spoken and spoken and spoken and spoken. And stop it. Uh, you, you understand me? So those who did that and benefited from it. You see... The first person who it, brought the information the person, to The life beneficiary is of the whole home. thing, the beneficiary of the whole thing is President Nana Akufuado. How? But, you see, they, they used it as his campaign song. He admitted it. He signed into it. And people used vans and come around here and things like that. The same Woyume, who was the chief registrar of the West African Appeal Court in Adanfo, when that case, which involved their family, was involved, was part of the people who facilitated the case to go back to London. If this is how you pay that Woyume, God is our judge. You feel hurt. Because you mentioned a hateful thing, not about me, but if it's about me, people have gone through that. My mother has died at a heart attack. My sister died recently, the same problem. How many of the family members, I don't want to list so many. Initial issue, my aunt, who loved me so much, died. And I was in the police Headquarters, they put me among criminals by NDC people when it was an, a failed assassination attempt. I will talk about that one later. Then they have to tell you people that they have arrested me. If you pay money by court to somebody, do you arrest him on in traffic? It was but, some of the diplomatic people. 
who came here with a number plate and prevented this issue. It's a big issue. We are not going there yet. I hope you understand. Your brother is in parliament representing the people of South Tongue. He's how, doing how, his duty. How is he affected? By, He's doing by his this? duty. He's a true, true blooded warrior man. Let me tell you, as we sit here, the, our family in Ashanti have never forgotten us. Almost every bi weekly, they send us, um, all those ones. Our families in Dagmar have never forgotten us. They send us meat, send us so many things. Do you have children who are going to school? How are you paying their fees if all your businesses have been blocked? Do you have your wife? Well, you uh, let me yourself? explain to me. You are growing fat, you said, because they give you food. But how about the others? They are also eating. Let me explain to you. We have never lived a life of ours alone. We've, we've lived a life of us. So sometimes it's very difficult to find who are my biological children amongst the number of people that are around us. It has been a practice of the family. So, sometimes it's difficult in school, you have to go and renegotiate for their, uh, their fees here and there. But before somebody will even hear it, they are rushing and coming to do, give something to pay and like that. Sometimes, ordinary people, they said that you when we wanted to go to Mecca, you pay, you pay for it. When we came to tell you, you did it. When you did that, you did it. They don't even have to eat. They will buy water and come here. I said, why? Go take the water. He said, no. My conscience will not serve me right. In Newtown here. Here. Oh. Ordinary people. People who are living by the day. They try to, I mean, they want to just bring something. Just to share with you. Share with you. I have looked after so many people Would you ever who have gone through the university, including many of the journalists who sit down to insult me. Many of the ministers who were made deputy ministers and things like that, they all started from this house. Any of them to mention? Right no, now? it is not important because some, sometimes Christ will choose you eh, and do his, to answer that guy's prayer through you who have made yourself available. Do you think you can bounce back? I have bounced back. I have nothing is wrong. Let the government release my shares. And after they release the shares of this company, probably within two months, that money will be paid. And a lot of the youth whose life depend on this will get a job to do. In December 2020, who will you vote for? Nana Kufado or John Mahama? My, my vote is my secret, but I, if you can see, obviously I'm campaigning, going to campaign for John Mahama. You still support him? Because out of the two, I believe that, I don't know yet, but let's see how it goes. Because, <laughs> you know, Nana get a lot of opportunities, but sometimes he fails to take the right opportunities. He has surrounded himself with the very issues that divided the UP into Matimihu and things like that. People who are such things. And within the MPP itself, a whole lot of issues. You see, I want somebody that will bring everybody together. Because our common destiny, there's nothing. Anybody, anything affect in Chebi, it has affected me. If it affects me in Sugakofe, it has affected somebody in Chebi. The point is that we are intertwined. So, the, for the fact is that, what am I seeing for no, no. Ghana? We don't have time again. We have a youth population that is growing without way. I mean, and then the attempt to disenfranchise child's people and things like that. It's annoying everybody, including Nana, his own base. He doesn't even know. Because nobody is telling me anything. There is no gain. No gain. In trying to go about, my daddy was this, and the other, you, you see, that conversation with Nkrumah and all that thing, it has passed. The youth are now focused. They want financial and personal liberty. They care less about who your father was, what is the Dankwa Buzia is, what is that. They care less about that. They want to have their life 
in their own hands and the hands of God. They want to compete equally with any other person in the world. And who will do that? That's the reason why sometimes I, uh, I will have to go for John Mahama. I'm not campaigning for him. Because he, John himself, was part of the people who actually set up the sole commissioner. To investigate judgment debts. Judgment debts. And I made a statement that that judgment debt is taken on me. And they said, no, no, no. They did it. I didn't participate. Go and see the front page. The first person who was found guilty, the first, number one, was the way you make it. And I was found guilty, banned from public life, political issues, and for 15 years. And he, John, based on advice of those people who are entrenched in the conversation we are having, don't want to be part of it. Eh? Maybe they don't understand. You understand? Advise him and he put a white paper on it. Who again in the judgment that were given a white paper? I challenged that in the court of appeal. And it was overturned. Because I was not even there. I was not given an opportunity to appear. So if I should hold this against him, I will vote against him. But the point is not that. The point is looking at a larger picture about what you stand for and who can deliver it. Mr. Alfred Agbeshi Woyomi, thank you. It's been great having you on Face to Face. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. And that would be it for our show today on Face to Face on City TV. My name is Umaru Sandamadu. Thank you for watching and do stay with City TV. It's your world.